Zanini. Hey Basement Geeks, welcome back to Tracy's Basement. I'm Jason, and today I have another Zanini Velope. Zanini Velope doesn't have the same ring to it, but this is from Zanini Box. I just always get a kick that it's in an envelope and not a box. Zanini Box is an enamel pin subscription box for pin collectors and pin fans at a very, very affordable price. They do offer multiple tiers. You can do a three pin service a month for $7.99, a four pin service for $9.99, or a five pin service for $11.99. Or if you're international, this is a great way to save on shipping. You can do a bi-monthly pan for $23.99 to really save yourself some of that cost on shipping. Tripping over my words here because I'm on about two Rockstar and two full pots of coffee today. So I am wired for sound right now. So let's open this up and look at some pins. Woo! The Shredder. I don't even need the Shredder. Okay, let's make sure I can't see anything. All face down. Perfect. They seem to always come face down when you look at the back side of the thing. So good. No surprise, no spoilers. No ruining the surprise. <laughs> there, they're all unsealed and ready to slide out. Zanini Box has been absolutely on fire. You guys know if you've watched our previous videos, and if you haven't, go back and watch them now, that we've absolutely been in love with this service. Uh, they've been fantastic. Great value uh, and great pins. Uh, but I noticed this, and Zanini Box said they were going to send this to us. If you go back and watch the very first Zanini Box we unboxed, they had different backing cards. They had a very standard Zanini box backing card. And then the next month, they changed it to kind of match the individual pin. And they said they were going to send backing cards for the original pins that I got. So there's a backing card for the Jon Snow pin that we unboxed. Uh, there's a backing card for the Leonardo pin that we unboxed. And there's a backing card for the Ruin from Call of Duty pin that we unboxed. So that's very cool if you... Uh, that you guys would send that if you like um, displaying your pins with the backing cards. I know sometimes the backing card can really enhance the pin if you have it on a pin board or something. I mean, if you're wearing it on your hat or your jacket or something with a backing card, you're a little insane. But, uh, you know, on a pin board, sometimes the backing card can actually make the pin pop out more and look nicer rather than just on that standard brown, like, cork board uh, type look. So... That's really cool. I like that. Thank you a lot, Zanini Box. I really appreciate that. So let's see what Zanini Box has sent us this month. And the first pin is... Whoa! That one is a shoutback. That's Mighty Mouse. Wow, that is really a shoutback. I remember the old Mighty Mouse cartoons and stuff like that. I used to watch stuff like Mighty Mouse. I don't know if you guys remember in... Um, like, this is, gonna, this is really going to show my age now, but... Uh, inside malls and stuff you used to go in those little booths they're almost like camera booths and you used to watch a little uh short cartoon um you know they used to have like old disney cartoons or kind of like um you know silly symphonies and, and things like that and they used to play little brief short like five minute episode things in those booths in the malls and uh that's what that reminds me of. that makes me feel going back to those days so that's really cool. It's a very nice pin. Uh, very vibrant yellows and everything. Vibrant yellows and red, so... That's very nice. That's a very nice pin, Zanini Box. I like that. I like that a lot. I like those pins. Alright, let's try not to date myself so much talking about this one. Wow, that made me sound really old. I'm not that old, guys. I, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting pretty old, so... This one is... Oh! This is the G.I. Joe pin this month. This is First Sergeant Duke. Very, very cool. Uh, I've been saying how the um, the original G.I. Joe pins that they're making kind of resemble the box art of the old G.I. Joe toys from back in the day. That's kind of their whole uh, gimmick with their G.I. Joe ones. And they seem to do a G.I. Joe one every month. I, I don't know if you get it with every size subscription. I don't know if you have to get the five pin subscription to get it or not. Um, if you guys have ordered uh, any of the smaller subscriptions with our link and you've received one of the G.I. Joe pins, comment down below, let me know. Uh, so I can uh, let the other people know that are watching these videos later on. But that's really cool. You get a G.I. Joe pin every month, so you kind of keep a theme going and they look like the old toy art. So that's very cool. I like that. I got Duke. 
Duke's nothing on Cobra Commander last month, though. Cobra Commander took the cake, man. That Cobra Commander was awesome. It's gonna be hard to beat Cobra Commander. Destro one would be pretty cool, too. I'd like a Destro one. And pin three is... Oh, that is a cool one. That's a good one. Tracy's gonna love this one. This one is Pennywise with the upcoming It Chapter 2 coming out. Perfect timing to get that. Very, very cool. I like that. It's got Pennywise's face, and uh, he's got the red eyes, and he's kind of in the shape of a balloon. That's really cool. I love that. That is excellent. I think, you know what? That's probably going to be the winner in this box for best pin. I'm going to call that right now because I am very, very excited for IT Chapter 2. Uh, me and Tracy, Tracy both are, you know, big horror nuts that we are, so... That's really cool. I like that a lot. That's an awesome one, Zanini box. Wow. Great. Great and great timing on that one. And pin number four is... Oh! it's There's a little bit of a clown theme going on here this month. Uh, it is Joker. And it is the new uh, Joaquin Phoenix Joker from the upcoming movie. Uh, it looks like that they're going for there. Uh, that's very cool. This has got a good shape to it and a lot of uh, great coloring to it actually i like that a lot it's on the joker card and he's got the greens and the blues and the purples that's a very nice pin uh i think i'm going to enjoy the new joker movie myself i know uh it's been getting a little bit of flack uh because it's not going to follow any kind of comics it's going to be its own original kind of trying its own thing uh and you know on the internet nowadays if something does not follow the comics exactly to a t everybody's got to hear about it so uh I, i'm okay with them trying their own thing uh I, i'll see it um you know it if it's good it's good if it sucks it sucks right and it'll be done uh but i'm gonna give it a try and i like that pin i think that's a very nice pin so i like that i like that a lot clowns man a lot of clowns in this video anybody has a clown phobia turn back now well it's too late i already ruined your day I've got a friend who has a clown phobia. I'm going to have to warn her before this video goes live to not watch this video. Although it's only pins, so maybe she'll be okay. All right, the final pin in this Monsignini box is... Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Um, I played these games a lot. There seems to always be a video game related pin in there um, every month too, it would seem. Uh, at least lately anyway. I could be wrong. No, I'm thinking back. No, there's always been a video game related pin. Um, this is... Hitman. This is Agent 47 from Hitman. Uh, if you guys haven't played the Hitman games, they were a lot of fun. They were kind of like stealth, uh, puzzly type games where um, you had to find like all these different ways to assassinate your target uh, using all kinds of... And it just kind of got more Looney Tunes, kind of, in a way. The more it went on, you're finding these overly elaborate, ridiculous ways to set off these bizarre traps and and falls and all these things um but that's really cool he's in the classic two guns pose uh from uh, you know a lot of the hitman artwork um trying to remember which game it was that this was the cover of two blood money uh, trying to remember now it's, it's been a while but uh and i think he was like this on the uh cover art from the bad movie too <laughs> so yeah his not a great movie. But that's really cool. I like that. I like that a lot. I think Zanini Box has hit it again. Um, I have not got a disappointing Zanini Box now. And we've done four in a row. And I've been happy with Zanini Box absolutely every time. So that's awesome. I love that. That's great. Favorite pin? I called it. My favorite this month's got to be Pennywise. I have to pick one. That's the rules. You guys got to pick your favorite in the comment section below. That is the rule as well. I know you might like all of them, might like multiple of them, but you got to pick one. You got to pick your favorite. And I'm going with Pennywise uh, this month because I think that's awesome with him with the balloon shape around him. I think that's awesome. So I'm going with Pennywise this month. But of course, let me know what you guys thought of Zanini Box this month. And have you tried Zanini Box yet? I think this is a great deal for a subscription service. So... I really, really recommend trying these guys out and use the link below in the description box and the coupon code, the discount code TRACY and you will get 10% off your first box and make it even cheaper.
Like even cheap. This is already a cheap subscription service. And you get it even cheaper if you use the code. So that, that's pretty awesome, guys. That's an awesome deal. And remember, guys, if you like what we're doing on this channel, remember to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Snapchat at Tracy's Basement. You can get a hold directly to me on Twitter at Jason from TB. And of course, as always, guys, keep coming back for more Tracy's Basement. But do you want a balloon? I sound like Scooby-Doo more than I sound like Pennywise. Although Pennywise did have a little bit of a Scooby-Doo feel to his voice in the movie. I will say, it was at times it was a little bit comical. But I think it was supposed to be. We all float down here. Sinkers and floaters had an entirely different meaning when I was growing up.